What's up, YouTube? How are you guys doing? It is time for lunch break. That's right. It's Thursday. It's a little after 12 o'clock. It is time for Rec Tech to bring you lunch break with my good friend who needs no introduction, your master chef, Greg Mueller. <laughs> Rec Tech family, I'm Chef Greg, your Director of Culinary Innovation, and it's a little windy out here today. We got like 50, 60, 80 mile an hour gusts. I'm going to just hold on to this stainless steel table so I don't blow away because I know the Rec Tech ain't going anywhere. Uh, we got that RT590 behind me burning those delicious Kingsford Hickory pellets. We're wide open. We're running full with two 14 inch cast iron skillets on there because we're going to cook up something spookily delicious out there. Uh, we're going to make a seven layer dip. But we had a highly contested debate here, and Chef John and I agreed. Yeah. True seven layer dips really aren't seven layers. Yeah. It's just like three layers with a whole bunch of crap on the top. That's true. And we're going to elevate that stuff on the top because you know we got to live the Rectech lifestyle and put our foot in it. So make sure you guys comment down below and that uh, that red rectangle in the corner over there, just make sure you subscribe and, and share this content with all of your friends because you know what? The more engaged you guys are in videos like this, the more we get to do it. That's and right. That's the highlight of our day mm. here at RecTech Worldwide Headquarters in Evans, Georgia. But I want to give a special shout out to all of those in the Panhandle area. That's right. And uh, this latest hurricane and tropical storm that's affecting the southeast, uh, stay safe out there. Uh, we're in our thoughts and prayers, and if there's anything we can for do sure. for you, don't hesitate to reach out to your RecTech family here. Give us a call, 706-922-0890, and uh, let us know you're okay out there if you're That's in right. the affected areas. Because i got to tell you, if you're on the Gulf Coast this, like, hurricane season, like, y'all been getting, like, battered down there. Battered. Like, one after another, and it seems like it hits the same spot. Yeah, so it really does. But, Chef Greg, what week are we, what, what are we, what's the theme for the week? What it's are we doing? Halloween, Holmes. That's right. That's it's like right. The third best week out of the year. Third best. What's the well, first? No, I, okay, I'm a Thanksgiving guy. Okay. Because I love to get my fat kid on. I'll go with that. Okay, and then I got to go to Christmas because the kids have a good time. Okay. Halloween's pretty dope after that. Okay. Right. So a third third best week third of the year. Third best week. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I'm almost ready to get my fat kid on with Thanksgiving. I've seen these amazing videos that Rectech and Kingsford have been dropping. Ooh man. I hope they're and making you, everybody else hungry. And if you guys haven't subscribed to Kingsford's YouTube channel. You need to like go ahead and drop it like it's hot because yeah. there's been some fire content being released out there. And uh, if you don't want to hit a dud on Thanksgiving, make sure you guys tune in. But let's get this party started because I don't know about you, Chef John. I kind of missed breakfast today. Yeah, I did too, and Chef I'm a little I had hungry. an apple. I had an apple. That's it. God, you are so healthy. I know. I, am. I just had some coffee and a um, non-healthy energy drink packed and, to sugar. And what else? You had something else special this morning. I saw you eating it. I, I didn't eat anything this morning. Look, at <laughs> this apron's fit a little more loose because I'm kind of malnourished around here. But we've got two and a half pounds of 90-10 uh, ground beef. I'm going a little bit of a greener, uh, leaner variety because I me and John, John trying to be healthy around That's here. That's right, a little bit. And then uh, not healthy, I've got uh, two pounds of chorizo. So get on in here, Sherp. We'll get this party started. Again, RT590, Kingsford hickory pellets, two cast iron skillets, bada bing, bada boom. Just like that. And all we're gonna do is grab this spoon in here, just kind of break this stuff up. And I'm just gonna leave it alone. Okay? No reason to stink up the house. That's it. No reason to heat up the kitchen. Cook outside. Because it doesn't matter if it's like really cold, really hot, really windy, or a perfect day. That Rectex is going to hold temp. That PID controller is going to maintain whatever temp you're set at, whether you're cooking low and slow 225, That's or right. whether you're hot and fast with 50, 60 mile an hour gusts. We got your back. All right, so talk to me about guacamole, John. Yes. Everybody's got their, their 
flavor profile to guac. That's right. What is like your, I can't have it and I gotta have it to guac? All right, so in guac, I gotta have some kind of onion flavor in there, whether that's really it. minced up onions or I onion powder. It. I, I gotta it. have the onion in there. I've okay. got to have some kind of tomato product in there, whether it's little sliced up tomatoes or some salsa or something like that. I got to have that. And just to throw people off a little bit, Chef Greg. Let's do it, come on. I like to put a little bit, sometimes I'll throw a cucumber in mine just Ooh. to add a little bit of something Ooh. extra that's that undefinable I, thing in my guacamole. I can honestly say I've never had cucumber in my guac, but I kind of like where you're throwing it's down good. there. It's good. I re you know what? I really wish I could run to the kitchen and see if we had a cucumber. <laughs> I know we don't, okay? I dig it. You could almost even, you know, you got me, you got me thinking here, because that's how the, this whole thing works, that's this right. creative culinary thing we got going on here between Chef John and that's myself. That's right. You say sweet, crunchy cucumber? Mm hmm I think jicama. Ooh, yeah. A little, like, shaved jicama now in there? Now you're talking. That would be delish. I'm just saying, I mean, little, you want to rectify a, a recipe. Do it. I do mean, it you right. got two really good uh, suggestions for that, but I've got some guacamole, or uh, guacamole, i got some avocados here that I went ahead and already kind of pulped up because you don't need to see me mashing up avocados on camera, okay? I don't need to get green hands, but there we go. We got some some guac. All right, so I like lime zest, okay? I like the punch that that lime zest is gonna give me, the freshness, and that little bit of acid in there is gonna help keep this avocado from turning colors. And when we've got really robust flavors, sometimes a little bit of acid goes a long way to bring it full circle. Chef John, what you got, buddy? I got two questions for you. First one comes from Robert Bernhorst. He said, what temperature are you running the grill at? We got that grill on full, so we're sitting uh, just above 500 degrees, and we'll be in and out of that grill a good bit, so um, it'll probably maintain right about that 510, 515 or so. Yeah, be good. And Wood Linko asks, is there a difference uh, in browning meat in a cast iron versus a cast enamel pan? No, not at all. So um, a lot of folks will say that cast iron will impart, like, I'll say the grandma factor, right? The more you've cooked in that cast iron, the more that pan is going to impart really good flavor in that. Um, but for grounding beef, you're not really going to see a benefit uh, either which way. Now, if you were going to add, like, some acidic products in there, now we are going to put a little uh, secret ingredient in that ground beef, but it's going to be just fine. You can use a cast enamel or not. So I've got a lime. Now, I typically like juice of two limes. There Zest of one, juice of two. I like that. I like I like the citrus punch, man. Mm -hmm. Now these are like extra juicy limes too, so this is going to be pretty limey in a and, good way. And Chef Greg, that's a great tip on uh, using the zest from any kind of citrus to add that flavor, a little punch of that flavor. That's. A I great mean, dude, tip. I know you go to the grocery store. It's high. Yeah. It's high at the grocery store. Yeah. You paid twenty five cents for that entire lime. Yeah. So if you think about it, you you paid like you know. 15 and a half cents for the zest, 15 and a half cents for the juice, That's right? That's exactly right. All right, so we're going to go ahead and mix this up a little bit. And again, I'm kind of a lazy cook. So, Chef John, you're right there speaking my wheelhouse. Yeah. I've got some salsa that we made. Yeah. And if you guys want to uh, check out our smoked salsa, we got that recipe out there. It's good stuff. So I got the guac. Mm -hmm. We got the lime. Okay. Juice and zest. Okay. We've got some delicious salsa. And then I've got some onion and jalapeno. Oh, I'm a big nice. fan of the jalapeno. I like the jalapeno in there. It gives it a little heat. That's jalapeno for those that don't speak uh, Chef John in my language here. <laughs> but jalapenos are fun. Now, cilantro. Are you a cilantro guy in your guac? Yeah, I, n I definitely. I definitely. Now, people, if I'm making it for people, I don't put it in there. But if it's like I'm making it at home, I'm definitely putting cilantro. Well, I'm making it for you, Chef John. Yeah, let's so put I'm putting it in there some cilantro yeah. in there, which is actually the seeds of cilantro is coriander. People might not realize that. That's right. But good southwestern flavor. Now, I didn't always like cilantro because when I was younger, I thought it tasted like soap. That's true. Now, Chef Greg, you can attest to this. As a person ages, as they get older, their taste buds change. Shoot, yeah, Bo. So there'll be things that you didn't like as a kid that maybe you might want to retry as an adult. So interesting fun fact about taste buds. When you are younger, you actually have all of the taste buds you are ever going to have in life. That's right. And you only lose those taste buds as you get older. That's right. 
That's why a lot of times if you get older in life, you might need a little bit more salt or you can tolerate a little bit more spice because your taste buds are just a little bit more uh, educated dead. and well-traveled. Yeah, a little dead. A little yeah, dead. no. We burnt them out a little it's bit. so negative. <laughs> well-traveled. I like a good chunky Jeff Craig, they said they loving your shirt. Dude, okay. I dusted off the bowling ball the bowling ball bag. <laughs> okay? The shoes didn't quite make it. They were dry rotted, not gonna <laughs> lie. The uh, soles pretty much came off the bottom, but I got that sixteen pound ball. I am ready <laughs> for that that bowling league. We got it down, man. We gotta come up with like some cool like team name off yeah. the back. Yeah, we really do. This is uh, this is fly. This is that full turn athletic <laughs> wear. Okay. Hey, Jody did great picking those shirts. Dude, up. Jody They're killed it. Fabulous. And if people want to hate on the shirts, you're just jealous that you can't get one of these. Okay. <laughs> That's true. It's just That's like the true. hat. You got to be at Rec Tech Academy. This side. What side? This side. You got to be at Rec Tech Academy to pick up the hat. People were hating on Jody. That was actually pretty funny yesterday because he was wearing a uh, a limited edition shirt yesterday. Yeah. And uh, or a hat. He was catching some flack for it. So. I don't know about you. Yes, sir. But you got to taste. Oh yeah, that's your half guac. of it. That's half because of the I know right what we're missing here already. I can tell you right now. I can tell you too. A margarita? Yes, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Where's a dirty girl when you need one? She's recovering from her hangover. Oh, shout out to old Amanda. <sighs> I mean, one of our favorite dirty girls. She went big. All right. How's it tasting, Chef Greg? Does it need a little bit of seasoning? Man, it's so good. Stop calling me. I'm filming a show right now. <laughs> we got that Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub. It's the perfect mixture of horseradish, Worcestershire, salt, garlic. Big mm. flavors in this bottle. That's okay? right. This is like Darren George Big. He's like nine foot tall, and he's standing right there. <laughs> his feet are practically touching the deck, and his head is above the breezeway. That's what I'm talking Shout about. Shout out, Darren George. <laughs> it's always good when people visit. All right, so we'll go ahead and mix this up. And I can tell you right now, that guac is going to be the best guac you've ever eaten your entire That's life. That's what I'm talking about, Chef Greg. Chef Greg, while you're mixing that, well, I want to remind everybody that next week is Fan Favorite Woo! Recipe Week here at Rec Tech. So put in the comment section what you guys want to see us make. Each day we'll be making a different recipe. And Jody said, if we pick your suggestion, I like it. Maybe you're going to get something special. And we did those like spooky stuff all week long. Yeah. I mean, you started the week off right. Yeah, with the meatball oh, eyeballs. Oh man, it was that was so really cool. cool. Um, Jody killed it. Yeah, he did the spooky crustinis. The spooky crustinis. That's right. I didn't get to eat one of those, but they were Boss Man good. Ben said the uh, that was the best. Uh, ribeye he's ever eaten. Yeah, they were spooky. We good. did those bat wings last night, Man, which I, I I'm not going to lie. I was still a little, I mean, they were delicious. They were so good. But, like, when you rip it open and, like, the wing is bloody, yeah. it, you're, it's, your brain is just telling you no. No, it sent me But to your savage nose and mouth mode. are just saying yes. <laughs> it sent me to savage mode. I was like, savage, yes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and mix this up here. And you can see the beauty of this is we're cooking top to bottom, left to right. That convection current is cooking that ground beef and chorizo from the top down and the bottom up. And this is only going to take another couple minutes, but to that chorizo, waste not, want not, we've got a little of that jalapeno and onion yes, left sir. right waste in there. Not, and I'm thinking not. like just a couple more minutes, that's going to be good to go. Now... So what you got, John? No, I was going to say, uh, they're, they're, they're in the comment section saying, D is Jordan here? Did he break something? Did Jordan break something last week? Did Jordan break something last week? What did he break? Oh, that's right. He broke the internet on Funday Friday. That's right. I totally forgot about that. That's right. My bad. My Jordan bad. Johnson is uh, actually chained to his desk. He can't move just so he can't <laughs> mess it up anymore. All right, so now this is I gotta I gotta give my wife credit because she makes okay some bomb seven layer dip. Okay, Julie. She's actually making some this weekend. Yes. So she'll take the salsa and the sour cream. Oh, oh. Okay. And she's gonna mix this up to be like a spooky secret sauce. Now some people, and I found this out through my diligent research on the internet, 
actually put cream cheese in here. Yeah. I did not know that. I did not know that either. I think it was a consistency thing, Chef Greg, that it kind of firms it up a little bit. So funny enough, before we got married, I never had seven-layer dip before. What? No, like, no kidding. Like, never had it. Man. So I was never exposed to this, like, cream cheese concoction <laughs> that was referenced on the Internet. So, That's for so me, funny. we're not going to add it. But I am going to add this sour cream and salsa here. Mm -hmm. And I find that smoked salsa gives us some amazing flavor. Oh, for sure. Okay. For sure. And uh, you're going to make a lot because you're going to eat a lot of it. Yeah, because it's delicious. Dude, it's stupid good. I mean, I know all the uh, marketing folks will come down here and grab some of this in a little bit. But to me, this has good consistency. It's not too loose, not yeah, too thick. That's how I like it. It's kind of spooky. Not too thick, not too loose. We're talking about uh, special sauce, not oh, women. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. This is a daytime show. <laughs> all right, so now we're kind of coming together. We've got our guac. It's amazing. We've got our special sauce, and this is no like Ronald McDonald secret sauce. Okay, <laughs> there's no two all beef patties. There's no sesame seeds as a part of this recipe. Just delicious food cooked on a rec tech. Now I've got some Rotel tomatoes. Sherp, you were just fighting that gimbal today. Yeah, for real. Get in there, Sherp. So I'm gonna grab some Rotel tomato. A little bit of taco seasoning and then this is a recipe cooked on a rectex you know you gotta add some of that more of that dirty girl on there just like that and we're just gonna mix it up and let this go for like maybe another three minutes now you can tell this is very lean ground beef it's not very fatty which is a good thing Oh, look at this chorizo. Woo! I love it. Oh, made a mess. But that chorizo is looking delicious. Yeah, it is, Chef Greg. Let me just break up the big clumps here. Oh, man. So good. So good. Chef Greg, they want to know about that smoked salsa. Where can they find that recipe? Man, you got to go to rectech.com. There's a recipes tab. We've got skirt steak tacos with smoked salsa. There's also a video on YouTube, so don't stop this video right here. You can just wait and watch it at your leisure. That smoked right. salsa is slamming. Now, we did make this yesterday because it does taste better when you kind of let it sit and get happy for a couple days in the fridge. Um, Laura Parsons, shout out Laura Parsons. She made hey, some Laura. smoked salsa. She actually canned those as well. But uh, if I know Laura and Leo Parsons, I bet you that salsa is pretty much gonzo by now because once you make it and start eating it, you just can't stop. Can't stop. It's like Lay's potato chips, man. Mm -hmm. Like Pringles. Once you pop, you can't stop. Once you pop, you we're can't just stop. dropping like some, uh, some, some branded lingo these days. We really days. are. We, we need really to. We probably are. need to rein that in a little bit. <laughs> All right. So, refried beans. Yes. Okay. I love me some refried beans, but they're like super thick out the can. So I want to up the flavor to my refried beans. Yes. So I take a little ham stock. Ooh, so I've got that stock. like smoky, salty, hamminess. Chow, please. That's Heat what up. I'm talking about. Now you can put this on a cast iron pan as well. I did this right before we started. Still nice and warm, but like next level. So go ahead and add in. Now this is a big old pan. So this was three cans mm. of refried beans. How and much I, stock did you add to that? Uh, one cup, and one then cup? I cooked it down. Because if it's too thick, it breaks the chip. That's true. And that's, 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 that's no bueno. Can't break the chip. Chef Greg, how long can you store the salsa, the smoked salsa, once you've made it? I mean, around my house, it lasts like a half a day. Because <laughs> I say you need to rest overnight. We are not patient people when it comes to good food around my parts. Um, but the beauty of it is it has a good bit of acid in there from the tomatoes. So you're going to eat it. If you're going to make a good bit, you're going to eat it within a week. But it's probably good within three weeks or so. Um, but, again, you're going to eat it. So, you know, don't worry about it. All right. So here we go. Let's start building this bad boy. Because we've been live for, like, 21 minutes. 
Yeah. It's almost a show. It's almost a show, almost as Jenny would say. Almost. All right. So, I mean, half hour, we cook something start to finish. The start to finish. God, half I hour. love it. Man, it's almost like we've done this a time or two, Chef Yeah, Tom. maybe once or twice. All right. So, I've got that chorizo right here. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was a hot pan right there, boy. All right. So, I like to kind of put my chorizo down. So whatever a little bit of fat is in there can kind of soak into the beans. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Now, it's not in, not on the recipe you're going to see online. you got to take some of that Dirty Girl Bloody Mary That's rub right. And just kind of like Picasso the top. <laughs> okay. I also like to take just a little bit of that salsa and just kind of like... Do a little Fred Flintstone, a little yabba dabba do. I love it. Okay. You guys ready for the next one? Yes. I'm ready for the next bring one. Bring it on, Chef Craig. All right, we're going to bring it home. So we've got that Rotel and ground beef. Oh, that's hot. Now is when you want to kind of take your time, kind of mush it all together a little bit. Now this was uh, two and a half pounds of ground beef. I usually use two pounds, but it came in a two and a half pound pack. There we go. Man, that Put looks this so down here. good. Woo! Hold on to my chip bag. Easy. That's literally a 60 mile an hour wind that just came Easy. through here. Gust of wind coming through. And we did not lose any temperature in did that grill. We didn't lose any temperature. God, I Almost love that. Almost lost the light, but we didn't lose any temperature. We lose the light, actually? No, we're oh, good. Okay. All right. So now we've got, let's recap. We've got those beans. Yes. We've got the chorizo with the jalapeno mm -hmm. and the onions. Mm -hmm. We've got the ground beef with the rotel. Yeah. With the dirty girl mix. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's All right. So, so good. now let's grab this special sauce. Special sauce. And just kind of like do one of these. Sweet Lord, that looks so delicious. And if there's any left, don't worry, because you can have like bowls on the side that like people can dip in. Julie's probably going to be so mad I'm making this today. <laughs> She's like, you could have made this at home tonight. No, there's a couple fun. things. You know, I got I to gotta go paint pumpkins with Isabel tonight. <laughs> there's a couple things I can't make at the house. Oh, okay. This is one of them. All right. It's 100% on dish. her. Okay. 100% on her. I love it. All right. So now we're going to grab. Let's do a little cheese. Yes. Cheese layer is always a must. We got the layer counter out there, John? Yeah. We got the layer counter. They're counting out there for All you. All right. So now let's grab some guac. And do mm, like mm, a topping mm. of guac. Now, I don't mind seeing layers come through. Now, some folks actually put the guac first and then the sour cream on the top because they want to protect the integrity of the guacamole, which is normally the way to do it, just not when you're trying to make it spooky. That's right. Because I need the green on the top for our secret step. That's right. For dramatic, dramatic effect. You gotta have that green, Chef Greg. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're not done yet, but we're gonna start making it scary. I don't like spiders. <laughs> Flat out, do not like spiders. Now, being the man of the house, when a bug enters my residence, <laughs> I am tasked with slaying said animal. This morning, little spider was underneath the windowsill, and I had to grab a paper towel and take care of business. But I do not like spiders. In here, we've got a squeeze bottle, taking some sour cream with just a little bit of heavy cream so that we can make our spider web. Ooh, so spooky. Just like that, okay? Now, we're not done yet because, I don't know about you, Chef John, I yeah. love me some green onions. I do too, I'm a fan. And just so happened that we've got that RTB380 bullseye right here. Right. We're just going to go ahead and grill up a couple green onions. I love it. For dramatic effect. Because why not? Why not? And if I'm cooking lunch and I'm going to eat it, 
You best believe I'm going to cook what we like. All right, so now let's go ahead and we can finish this seven-layer dip. Now, you don't want to mess up that spider web. Right. Okay. But we can still take this to Flavortown. C do 23 said no smoked cheese, Chef Greg. I could. We totally could have. Totally we could have. I mean, got some olives in here. And if you don't like certain things, you don't have to add it. That's fine. But, I mean. It's getting real spooky now with the black olives on top. I mean, you know, you could put some diced tomatoes on there if you want. That's almost too healthy, though. <laughs> I don't know if we should do that. Um, but you could easily grill some jalapenos on there if you wanted. Dude, that'd be cool. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we grill some jalapenos. Why not? For sure, why not? But Chef John, what are they saying out there other than, I mean, they can make some seven-layer dip at their yes, house? Yes, green onions uh, on seven-layer dip, question mark, it. beef stew 66 says. Um, C. Do 23 says, get that flavor bus. Get on that flavor bus. And I it's always it. good to have if you're doing this, you know, if your dish isn't big enough and people want to customize their own and maybe you've got extra ingredients, you can easily just pile it up. And in addition to seven-layer dip, you have a taco bar. That's right. Or a nacho bar. But you know what? You're not done yet. He's not done yet. God, that dirty girl is so good. So good. So good so on good. some stuff. But no, they're all out here, Chef Greg, and they are loving it. I dig it. Let me clean up my mess here. We actually didn't make too much of a mess. God. Yeah, not a lot of dishes today, Sherp. And it was also good. You can grab those chips. Go right in that, like, special sauce. Mm -hmm. That was my happy dance. <laughs> All right. You're killing it right now, Chef Greg. Oh, man. Take some jalapeno right there. Definitely not going to touch my eyes after this. Definitely not. And um, I don't know. What if we like made like a, I don't know, like a kind of creepy like spider or something? I don't know. Like who doesn't <laughs> like green onions? I love it. I mean, had we had one of those like bat wings on the top, that probably would set it apart. But the little green onion over here. Bill Filbert said the exact same thing. He said you should have thrown one of those Aussie bat wings on top. <sighs> those Aussie bat wings were something stupid delicious. They were stupid delicious. But there you go. Seven layer dip. And this is probably more like a 23 layer dip because, I don't know, we just kept piling stuff on the yeah, top. Yeah, we did. But to recap, we had that RT590 running wide open on full. We we're about 500 degrees. We had two uh, 14 inch cast iron skillets on there. We cooked two pounds of chorizo, uh, two and a half pounds of ground beef. We got those beans on the bottom. So good. We got that chorizo with the jalapeno and the onion. A little bit of dirty girl. Man, I got to tell you, stupid good. Put that ground beef on the top with uh, Rotel. We cooked that in there with those Kingsford hickory pellets. Really robust flavor to those pellets. And again, in a super windy day, we're still over 500 degrees. That's right. Killing Chef it. John. Killing it. You ready to uh, come over here and... You know I am. I'd say I wet your you whistle, but what's the equ what's the equivalent to wetting your whistle with food? Uh, it's not like you can't say quench your thirst. Fill in your pie hole. Fill in your pie hole. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, sometimes you got to dip in the bottom to right. kind of get down there. Right. So I'll, I'll leave it up to you if you want to like dip on down or kind of scoop on, up. The hold top. on, I'm gonna. I got a little vessel right here. Chef I'm gonna dip John. on down because I want everybody to see the layers, Chef Greg. Well, I didn't want to mess up Charlie's picture. Oh right, right, right. All right. Ready? Get on in here, Sherp. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It looks like an eyeball. That is exactly That's what I'm talking That's so creepy. About. God, that is so creepy. So nice. Now, you really want to let this sit for like an hour before you dig in so all those flavors can kind of like set and, as Jody would say, meld together. Meld together. Man, that's so delicious. I just love... I mean, it's got a little bit of everything in there. The special sauce, the salsa, mm. the refried beans, guacamole cheese, the mm -hmm. chorizo. I mean, it's really, this is a win. Mm. 
this is like the stuff you can just grub on, mm -hmm. like, all day, every day, yeah. and it never gets old. Yeah, until you're about 900 pounds. It doesn't get old. This is delicious. That's how I want to live my rectangle lifestyle. Live it. 900 pounds. Mm. Live it to the fullest. We killed it again. Ah, Thank man. you, Chef Greg. We hey. actually have to end this show, don't we? At some point, I but think. But that means right? i got to stop eating. At some point, we got to end it. Mm. Mm. But who wants to? This is delicious. I don't want to. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I say for another 14 minutes, we don't say anything. <laughs> and they just watch us eat. That's cruel. No, that's wrong. Punishment. I wouldn't do that to you. Yeah, that's some cruel. That's not how you treat it. family around here. No, it's not. But guys, this is Halloween week at the RecTech Worldwide Headquarters. We've been doing spooky food all week long. But there is one more day left. One more day. And Fun Day Friday is the day that you go big or go home. Because it's <coughs> going to be the scariest day of the week. That's right. The creepiest day of the week. That's right. The most ghoulish and ghastly day of the week. That's right. Because you know that barbecue dad, Jody Flanagan, has something up his pumpkin. <laughs> no, that for sure. He has bestowed this information on Chef John and myself, and I'm not going to lie, I got goosebumps. Yeah, y'all are going to love it. Goosebumps. Y'all are going to So make sure you guys follow us on all social media. Tomorrow, Fun Day Friday, goes live at 12 noon on Facebook. And I think the rumor has it, we're giving away a grill tomorrow. Definitely. So you got to tune in and watch last week's Fun Day Friday so you can see how you can enter in to win that RT700. That grill retails for $11.99 with a six-year warranty. It's going to be amazing. But I appreciate you guys watching us here on the YouTube. And if you haven't already done so, go ahead and share this content with your friends and family. And uh, that red rectangle in the corner, go ahead and smash that and subscribe to this content because we got creepy, ghoulish, crazy shenanigans coming at you 365, 24-7 because that's how we live the RecTech lifestyle. That's right. Here in beautiful but windy Evans, Georgia today. So from all of us here at the worldwide headquarters of RecTech, we wish you a happy Halloween. That's right. And make sure you guys subscribe to all of our content so you can figure out how you can up your game for Thanksgiving because we got a lot of recipes coming at you. But you know how we end the show around here. God bless you. God bless the United States. And we will see you at, at the, the Rec Tech. Tech. Do, 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 Rec Tech Lifestyle. Set it and Come get it, it till the sun starts going.